Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Okay, let's move to the next topic about what is money. Okay, now let we explore what the meaning of money. From the economist perspective, money is anything that is generally accepted in payment for goods and services. Money is not the same as wealth and income and also anything commonly accepted in exchange for goods or services. Okay, throughout the history, many objects have been used as a money. For example, livestock, metal, cigarettes, drinks, cells, and etc. Okay, currency. Currency is a paper money and coin. Okay, it fits to the definitions when we talk about money, when we talk about currency. Okay, how about check and how about checking account deposit? Also consider a money, okay, because can, it can be uh, an instrument of paying. If they can be quickly and easily converted into currency or checking accounts and deposit. So check is also considered as a money because it can quickly or easily converted into currency. If you want to buy something, you can issue the checks and automatically you are buying the goods or services okay money synonymously wealth economists make a distinct between money and wealth money in the forms of currency demand deposit and other items that are used to make purchase or payment but wealth the total allocations of pieces of property that serve to store value wealth not only money but also other assets, for example, bond, stock, art, land, furniture, car, and houses. Okay, money synonymously income. Okay, economists make as distinctions between money and income. Money is a stock. It is a certain amount at given point of time. But income is a flow of earning per unit of time. We have to bear in mind money generally accepted in payment for goods and services or in the repayments of debt and is distinct from income and wealth. In conclusion, money is what is accepted of as a payment, income earning during time period of time, and wealth is accumulated asset at point of time. Okay? For example, I own 2 million in diamond in one period, meaning that I am wealthy, I have no money. The second example is I win 25 million in lottery. I put it under my bed, I quit my job, meaning that I am wealthy, I have a lot of money, and my income is zero. And the last one, software engineer, earning 100,000 per year, blow it all every paycheck, meaning that she is, she has high income but no wealth. Okay, what is the functions of money? Okay, the first one is medium of exchange. Money is a means of payment. Okay, accepted as payment for goods and services, that is the main function of money. That is what I already mentioned earlier. Okay, and then what will happen if the world without money? So we will involve in a butter system. In a butter system, we need a double coincidence of one. Okay, and it is very inefficient. More than for shopping and less time for beauty. For example, I have a book and I want to trade it for soda. You want to have a book and be willing to give up a soda and I want to have a soda and be willing to give up a book. Meaning that without the money, we have to have the double confidence of one. If we don't have any double confidence of one, so the exchange between these two goods, these two goods, will not be happen. The second one is units of account. Money 
is used to measure the value. For example, if something costs five dollars, it's not that valuable. If something costs five hundred dollars, that's valuable. Meaning that money is used to measure something, the goods of the services. For example, buying a car. If the car is the price of the car is one hundred thousand, meaning that that car is very valuable compared to the car the cost of thirty thousand. Okay. The third one is store of value. Use money to save, accumulate wealth, and buying stuff later. Money is liquid asset, meaning that money is the store of value. When you have a money, then you save it, meaning that you are accumulating your wealth, and you can buy the stuff, the goods or services in the future. For example, if you saving your money, you can buy a house or a car in the future. Money is not always a good store of value because of the political instability, poor economy and high inflation. These three situations will make the value of money will be decreased. So to act as a money, it must be measurable, diversible, widely accepted and durable. Now look at the evaluations of the payment system. The first one is commodity money. Money and object universally acceptable and everyone willing to take it in payment for goods and services. Commodity money and object that clearly has value to everyone to serve as money made up of precious metals or other valuable community such as gold or silver has its own value as a good, community money has opportunity cost. You could use it for something else. For example, as a community money, you can buy, you can have the goods or services of others. For example, if you have a gold, you can exchange it with a car. Okay, meaning that the community money by using a gold or silver or other things it's like a budget system in the economic system. But the problem here is the commodity money is hard and heavy to bring anywhere. The second one is fiat money. The paper currency pieces of paper which is a function of a medium of exchange. It's carried a guarantee that it was convertible into coins or quantity of precious metal, for example, coin do not contain silver, involved into fiat money, decreased by government as a legal tender, means that legally accepted as a payment for debt. It's more lighter and can be accepted as MOE only. If there is some such in the authorities who issue it, it is more efficient, no value other than the fact that it is accepted in exchange for goods and services. Country can change the country that they use at, at will since it has involved into legal arrangement. And the third one, and the fourth one is electronic payment based on it. Sorry, the third one is check. An instruction from you to bank to transfer money from your account to someone else's account. The advantages of the check is no need to carry large amounts of currency, less movements of currency, less transportation costs, improved economic efficiency can be returned for any amount up to the balance. Transaction is very easy. Provide convenient receipt for purchases, but the disadvantages of the check deposit is take time and costly. Sometimes the bank charge the check, the cash check. The 
fourth one is electric payment based on the IT improvement and development. Okay. And e-money, money exists in electric forms, for example, debit card or credit card. It's not a money payment mechanism that accepts money. E-money also stores a money by valuing card or smart card, meaning that means that the debt card or credit card is contain a money. E-cash is a package goods or services through internet. Okay, that's all for the first part of this topic. I will continue the second part of the topic. I'll see you.